two questions from the latest Code Forces round 644. The first two questions will be discussed in this video and the subsequent videos will consist of all the other questions. Because the first two questions are a little bit easy, so I have made them in one video. The first question statement states that you have to find the minimum area of the square land in which you can place two identical rectangles A and B houses. So you are given actually the dimensions of a rectangle which is that 3 and 2 like this can be length, this can be breadth and you have to place two rectangles of the same dimensions side by side such that you can enclose them in a square. So you have to find out the area of the square, the minimum area of the square. Okay. So if you take down to this drawing board, as you can see, if you take the smaller length of any rectangle or the larger length, if the square should be at least greater than the larger length because if we like turn them around, if this is the, uh, if we, we want this to be the larger length, uh, this cannot happen because the square should enclose this land, at least this land. So this can be a valid candidate, but it can be larger, but it should be at least the larger length of the rectangle. But what can be the other length of the square? The square can be of this length or this length. And this length is actually if you take this to be A and assume that A is always greater than B, which is the larger length. So this turns out to be 2B. So the square length can be either A or 2B. And considering that A is less than or equal to B, or sorry, A is greater than or equal to B, then you just point out the maximum of both of them. That's the answer. So that's the whole logic. What you can directly do is, you can take the input of all the key test cases. Uh, okay, this is the wrong place. So what you can easily do here is, yeah. So you can take the input of both the dimensions a and b. I have taken the solve function for all the key test cases. Then take the input of a and b. If a is less than b, swap them such that we are doing this such that we are ensuring that A is always the greater one because if A turns out to be the smaller one we will swap these both the value of both these variables and then N which is the length of the square is the maximum of A or 2 into B and we have to find out the area so it's N into N. So that's the first problem. Let's move on to the second problem. The second problem statement says that there are N athletes in front of you and the athletes are numbered from 1 till N. You have to form two groups such that the condition is the value or every athlete has some strength along with it SI so you have to uh, form two teams such that if you find out the maximum strength athlete in group A minus the minimum strength athlete in group B it should be small as possible okay so if these are all the athletes you can this can be one possible team in which you put 1, 2, 4 and 1, one team and 3 and 4 in another team and then the maximum of this team is 4 and the minimum of this team is 1 and so the answer is 1. Okay. Now what you can easily see here is if you like take this example I pasted all the, all the numbers here. Now if I just I want to form two teams. So whenever you want to found, form two teams, let's first sort them according to their strengths. So if you sort them, it will form 1, then 2, 2, then 3, then 4. 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, and 4. Which one am I missing? 1, 2, 2, 3, 3. Now remove this. So this is the sorted error. Now what just look at every consecutive number and find out what is the minimum difference of every consecutive number. Why I'm doing this? Because let's assume the minimum consecutive difference is 1 here, it's 0 here. So this is the minimum. So what can I do is I can form two teams such that these two players are in opposite team and this is the maximum and this is the minimum. So how we can do this, if we just split it here, 
such that if I take a team of this, which is 1 and 2, and take a team of this, which is 2, 3, 3, 4, so as you can see, the maximum of the above team is 2, and the minimum of the of B team is 2, and the difference is 0. I hope you understand. So you can split at this point, such that the difference becomes equal to the minimum of the consecutive uh, strength of the players. So that's the whole logic. So what you can directly do here is take the input of all the n numbers, sort them, initialize the minimum as int max, and then iterate over from 0 to n minus 1 all the players and find the minimum of every consecutive strength and print out the minimum. So that's the logic for the first two questions. If you like the explanation, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. I'm posting regular videos on my channel. So stay tuned and keep coding. Bye.